Hi guys, this is your sister Carrie Ann in Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, I just want to jump in here really, really quick. Oh, <laughs> yes, Lord. Right, before I go any further, as I said, you can skip this little few little seconds because I'm going to talk about the scammers real quickly. It is for the uh, new brothers and sisters that's joining this channel, really. There are wicked, demonic, vulturous, vulture, devil scammers in the comment section. They pretend to be me. They use my profile picture and my name, begging for money, talking about fake prophecies and orphanages and all of that. It is not me. Whenever I make a comment, this is how you're going to know it's me. Whenever I make a comment, my name is in solid, solid gray border. Okay, uh, Sister Carrie Ann in solid gray border. That's one thing the wicked dirty scammers cannot get because it's not their channels. It's not, it's not their channel and they're fake. If you need to contact me or bless me, go to the description box. All my information is there. Okay, brothers and sisters. Right, so I love how the Lord, <laughs> I love how the Lord just breaks things up. It really does. Because that is, that is, is pattern. And I think that, you know, brothers and sisters come on this channel and they see all these end time prophecies concerning, you know, the mark of the beast, the man-made pestilent jab and the man-made pestilence and, you know, earthquakes, tsunami and all these end time destruction that is to come upon the earth. And I, like I said, I just love how the Lord breaks things up because... He, he, he gave me a vision, a very, very powerful vision. And it is for the church, really. It's an encouraging vision that the Most High Yah gives, gave to me. And I pray that when you receive this, you will be encouraged. So in this vision, brothers and sisters, yes, I was, I, I was being chased by a very, very wicked demon. I don't think it's Satan because I can identify Satan and the Holy, the Holy Spirit will tell me when Lucifer himself is active um, in my vision. But this was literally a demon, all right? They're all wicked nevertheless. And so I found myself running. And I, I was just running away, you know, from this man, this demonic entity in the form of a man. And as I run and run, brothers and sisters, I'm not even going to lie, I was so tired. I was literally knackered I wanted to stop but the Holy Spirit said keep running keep running and, I, and then I began to speak to the Spirit of the Lord and I said Lord I'm so tired because this demon is literally literally chasing me and I said Lord I don't even know why he's after me like this obviously you know demons they love to chase Christians even in real life but in the vision I was saying to the Holy Spirit, I said, I don't even know why this entity is chasing me. And then the Holy Spirit began to speak. And he says to me, and this is where, this is for the church. But obviously, when the Lord is showing you something, you know, you as a person, you're not going to see the whole wide world. You're going to see yourself representing the church. So I was a representation of the church, the body of Christ. And the Holy Spirit began to speak. And he said, the reason why the demon is chasing you is because you've got a light on your head and he hates it and he wants to put it out just like that. So as I was running, I, would, I began to you know, like literally feel my head and saying, but Lord, I can't even feel any light on my head. And I remember I ran into this abund um, abundant apartment and it felt like it was where like homeless people stay. And when I went into the apartment, brothers and sisters, there was a bathroom. And I went into the bathroom and I thought to myself, I'm in this bathroom, you know, I'm in a house. I'm not in the open where the demon can see the light. So maybe when I go, this is what I was saying to myself. So I said to myself, maybe when I go into the house and, you know, then he won't be able to see the light. Then the Holy Spirit came back and he began to speak and he said, you cannot hide the light. He said, the light that is on your head, he said, anywhere you go, the demons will see because it is a representation of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And then there was a mirror, like a, a mirror in front of me because it's a bathroom. So it's got a mirror and a toilet and all of that. So I was looking in the mirror to see if I could see the light. 
And the Holy Spirit said to me, what are you searching for? And I said, I'm looking for this light. And I said, I want it. In the vision, brothers and sisters, I was so tired. I wanted to sleep. I literally, after I looked in the mirror and I didn't see the light on my head. And the Holy Spirit said, what are you searching for? I said, I'm searching for the light. And I said, I want, I don't know why. I think because I was so tired. To be honest with you why I said this to the Holy Spirit and I said I want to put out the light for a second so that the demons can the, the demon cannot find me because I am tired that's what I was saying to the, to the Holy Spirit I said I'm so tired I'm absolutely tired I said I just want to go and sleep so I was looking around in the bathroom it was quite a big bathroom it was for homeless people actually and um, there was no carpet or anything, just hard ground, you know, and there was dirt on the ground and everything like that. And I said to the Holy Spirit, I said, I'm tired. I just want to sleep because that's how I felt in the vision. I was so sleepy because apart from running away from this demon um, this overwhelming, sorry, brothers and sisters, sorry, apart from running away from the demon, the sleep, the overwhelming sleep. I don't know if it's deprivation or what, but I just felt, sorry, things breaking up. I just felt really sleepy. And at one point, I must have laid down on the floor. I must have laid down on the floor in this bathroom because I just felt, I felt like I couldn't go on anymore because I was so tired. And when I said to the Holy Spirit, I said, I said, the light that's on my head, I said, I can't see it. And I said, um, I want it to go just for a second just to hide <laughs> so that the demon cannot see me, so that the demon cannot find me. And the Holy Spirit said to me, the light that you have cannot be hidden. That is what the Lord is saying to my spirit as he was talking to me. He said, the light that you have cannot be hidden. And so brothers and sisters, when he said that, I got up. And when I got up, I could hear the footsteps of the demon coming through. He found me in this abandoned apartment and to the bathroom there was a door so i opened the door and i began to run again and i ran and ran and ran and came up to some houses these was like they had no light that well one and two houses had a okay you know like a, you know apartment brothers and sisters and that you know night time when the light is on you can see all the windows all the blocks and everything like that well it was like long rows, rows up in rows of rows up in rows of apartment buildings, like seven stories apartment and stuff like that. You know, in Britain we call them flats. I think in America, wherever you know, you call them apartment, but in Britain we call them flats. So there was loads of different different flats, more about twenty different flats, scattered all over the place. But as as I was running towards these flats. I noticed that some of the houses or well some of the rooms had light some of the rooms had light okay I'm um, sorry for hearing that noise that that's just the washing machine Um, some of the rooms brothers and sisters had light so but it wasn't all lit up to be honest with you there were more dark in room more than light at that time and so I remember, brothers and sisters, oh Lord, I remember I ran into one of these apartments. I ran into a couple of the apartments, a couple of them, three or four, because I wanted protection. Sorry. I wanted some form of protection because I was knackered, I was tired, and this wicked entity was just chasing me. And when I went into one of the apartments, I don't know, I opened the door to a couple's room, and I... Actually, I didn't have to speak as soon as I go into the room. I think these were demons actually, but anyways, as soon as I go into the room, brothers and sisters, this was a darkened room. This was this room was dark, but when I enter the room, it lit up. And it's like the Holy Spirit took myself out of not, not, not out of the vision, but he took me outside. My body was still in the vision with these with these two couple. But my spirit left and, and the Holy Spirit brought me outside and he said, can you see that room that's lit? I said, yes. I said, it's very, very bright. He said, that is you standing in that room. Just like that. He said, that's you that is standing in that room. That's, that's the reason why that room is so lit. And he brought back my spirit into the room. And so the couple saw me. 
Because remember, the room was dark. This couple was sitting in a very dark room. And when I went entering, it was very bright. And then the couple saw me. And as soon as I entered the room, brothers and sisters, they said to me, what are you doing here? And I said, uh, I'm, I'm hiding. I said, I'm looking for, <laughs> I said, I'm looking for a hiding place because there's a, a demonic entity that's chasing me. And they said, we know. He said, but you can't stay here because you don't belong here. Just like that. They said, you can't stay here because you don't belong here. And I left the room. And actually, like I said, I went into a couple of these flats and this is the, uh, nobody would hide me. No one. No one would hide me the vision, brothers and sisters. And the Holy Spirit said to me, you know, your protection is from the Most High. Uh, the light that you have on your head, he said to me, the demonic entities in the realm of the spirit, they can see the light. And he said, when you looked in the mirror, you could not see the light because you're in the natural. But he said, there's a physical, even though I'm speaking, it is there, but you can't see it. Because the Holy Spirit told me in the vision, he said, there's a, he said, in the realm of the spirit, he said, on top of your head, there's a like, he said, there's a very, very bright light on top of your head. And then uh, the vision kind of ended. There's a little bit more to the vision, actually, but I'm not going to release that part until I understand it because I have to be very careful because I don't want people, I don't want any confusion. But there's a little tiny piece, just, some, just a little extra. I might, I will come back at some point. If the Lord tells me to reveal it, I will reveal it, okay? But uh, I came out the vision. And when I came out the vision, brothers and sisters, the first scripture, hallelujah. The first scripture that came in my heart when I woke up the vision is, where is it gone? Okay. The first scripture that came in my heart is, I had it here. Oh, enemy is a liar now. Okay, not to worry. You hide it from me, enemy. I've got it right here. Okay. The first scripture that came in my heart is St. Matthew 24. St. Matthew 5 verse 14. St. Matthew 5 and verse 14 where Jesus was explaining who we are in him as the light. Hallelujah. And the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth says this concerning us, the church. He says, he are the light of the world. Do you hear that brothers and sisters? We are the light of the world. What a blessing. What a grace. What a grace. Because Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he is the light of this world, brothers and sisters. And we are in him. So if we are in him and we are part of him and we are heirs of salvation, that means we represent Christ and we have the light. In us, we have the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit is light. But I believe from this vision, brothers and sisters, this is a very powerful vision. I believe from this vision that, well, the demonics for sure, absolutely 150%. The demonics, they, they can see the light or the fallen angels, the demons, you know. They can see this. It's a natural. It's a physical light on top of our heads. We, I, I, I can't see it. No, no, I, <laughs> I can't see it. I know sometimes brothers and sisters will say to me, "Oh, Sister Karen, you're glowing and all of that, and what of you?" And I give God thanks for that because that's that's the Holy Spirit, Amen. But apart from the glow that we have, because I see the glow in other brothers and sisters. You know, when I go to Jamaica and I see my mom, my mom had this, my mom has this glow. She has the glow. You look in her eyes and she's glowing. You know, look at her face and she's glowing naturally in front of you. And so we know that we glow from the Holy Spirit. And, and even the sinners, the wicked devil sinners, they can pick it up. But there's a light on top of our heads, brothers and sisters, that the demons can see. And that's how they can identify the body of Christ. This vision is powerful. It is real. But the Lord goes on to say that we are the light of the world. A city 
that is set on a hill that cannot be hid. Do you hear that, brothers and sisters? I wanted the light to be dim because I was tired. I was tired in the vision. And the Holy Spirit said, no. He said, the light that you have, it cannot be put out. He said, that light on top of your head, that's, that's, that's glowing, that's shining. It cannot be put out. And the Lord is saying, this is what the Lord says, we are the light of the world, a light that is set on a hill that cannot, cannot be hid. So even when I saw these blocks of flat that was darkened, you know, they had no lights in them. When I went into the room, the, the whole room light up. This is, this is how you are in Christ. You know, and this is why we should not be worried. You know, when we come with things like the three days of darkness, and we're warning brothers and sisters to prepare yourself or, you know, for the wicked, if they want to prepare or whatever. But those of us in Christ, we should not even be, yes, it's okay to be overwhelmed because it is a wrath of God and we fear him. But to have that fear in your heart to say, oh, I wonder if God is going to protect me. I wonder, no, because you are the light. You are the light. You carry this beautiful, precious light inside of you. And there is so many Bible scriptures. You know, there's so many Bible, hallelujah, so many Bible scriptures concerning the light. John 8, verse 12. This is what the Lord says about the light. Then, then, then spake Jesus again. This is John 8, 12, right? Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness. The Lord doesn't lie, brothers and sisters. Christ is the light of this world. Just as though Satan is a wicked darkness. But the Lord Jesus Christ, the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he is the light of the world and when you are in him that same light that Christ had that same light that he had when he was on earth that is the same light you carry Holy Spirit oh hallelujah how did the demons recognize Christ when he was gonna cast uh, the the um, the when he was gonna heal the the demonic guy what did the demon say to Jesus before he cast him into the pit? They said to the Lord, what are we to have with you, Jesus, Christ of Nazareth, Jesus of Nazareth? Even the demons call him Jesus of Nazareth. Why is that? Identification. This is why I said to you, brothers and sisters, I'm not going to get an argument of calling, you know, different, different names because he's got different names, you know, with different culture. But as an English speaking woman you know i identify with calling him not only jesus christ but jesus christ of nazareth that is what you've got to use there's power there's power when you attach nazareth hallelujah because that's a that's an identification of the lord amen because there's many christ out there so when you're rebuking the enemy, always rebuke in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Always. Okay. So, so yeah. So they identify Christ. They knew, they knew him. They called his name. They called him. They knew him. Because why? He is the light of the world. So anywhere he goes, he's identifiable. Amen. So then Jesus spake unto them saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Glory to your name, light, Lord. And John 1, there's so many verses. I'm not going to go through it, brothers and sisters. But you just tap into Google or whatever Bible that confirms light and it will come up. But one more, John 1 verse 5 says that, and the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehend it not, cannot overcome the light. Darkness cannot, did, 
Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Lord. Yes. The Lord just revealed something in my spirit. I know I've said it before on the video that I've done concerning how to handle your family members when they turn. And one of the things that I said that, that will have to happen, you will have to pray. You will have to pray. The Lord is saying, this is what the Lord is saying. The Lord is saying that, um, let me go back to the scripture. And the light, this is John 1 verse 5. Watch this. And the light shineth in darkness. When they turn, these our families and friends, all right? At that time, they are darkness. They're living darkness. There's no light in them. There's no light at all in these people when they turn. But watch this. Watch this, brothers and sisters. They have to understand what the Bible is saying. So when your families and friends turn, some of them, not all, but some of them will take the man-made pestilent job will turn. When they turn in your presence and what of you, Okay, and I will leave that video pinned if you haven't seen it when I talk about turning. At that moment when they turn their darkness, there's no light. The light of Yah, even if they were born again Christian and they took the man-made pestilent job, their darkness, literal darkness, you're looking in front of you. You're looking at in front of you. But watch this, watch this. This is why your prayer is going to help. Because... You know, I'm not getting the whole thing with the mark of the beast and all of that because the man-made pestilent jab at the moment, it is not the mark of the beast. So there is hope. There is hope. So watch this. And the light shineth in the darkness. So your light that you've got inside of you, you are going to shine on them. Shine on them. Okay. <laughs> That's my son. You are going to shine on them through prayer. That's why the Bible goes on to say, and the darkness comprehend it not. The darkness cannot manage the light. Cannot manage the light. Brothers and sisters, I am telling you the revelation that the Most High Yah Gave me, I have to do a second part to the man-made pestilence when the family turned. Because it's not about this video anyways. But I'm just trying to show you how powerful the light is. But those of us in Christ, we have, we have, there's a physical light on our heads. And the Holy Spirit said to me, in the realm of the spirit, they can, the demons can see. So when they come in the natural, they can see, they can identify you. The identity, this is why when, this is why fallen angels can come up to a child of God and speak to them. Because I've encountered two fallen angels, two, these are not demons. These are literal fallen angels. Like, just, just as how Michael, the archangel, when I was 16 years old, I need to find that video. When I was 16 years old, Michael, the archangel, came to my rescue. I gave my testimony somewhere if I find it, I'll, I'll pin it. Just as all he came, two fallen angels I've encountered. Because they identify me. And I'll quickly tell you, one of them was a guy. I tell you, brothers and sisters, I don't know. Yeah, the, the, listen. The two fallen angels I've seen, their eyes are jet blue. Abnormally blue. One of them got a deep black ring. I've never seen. I mean, I've got, you know, brothers and sisters with blue eyes. And that's, those are normal Caucasian blue eyes. But this that I'm seeing, what I saw, it was an abnormal blue. And the ring around the eye was so thick around the pupil. So you got the blue and then the black ring thick. Oof. No. Anyways. So I was on my way to work. This happened in 2019. I think my testimony is somewhere on YouTube. But I was on my way to, way to work, brothers and sisters. And the fallen angel, this guy, he saw me coming towards him. And as I walked closer and closer towards him, he said to me, I just came to earth. Just like that. Just like that. He said, I just came to earth and he said, I'm a fallen angel. 
And I said to him, oh, are you? And he said, yeah. And he said, have a good day. And I just walked. I looked in his eyes and he looked in mine and I just walked away. Because I didn't have, the Lord didn't tell me to rebuke. So I didn't. <laughs> you know. But he identified himself. Look human. And if you don't have the spirit, you probably just think he's, he's human. Or if you're not in the truth, you probably think he's, he's not um is not all there but he's all there that was a fallen angel they're coming he ident why did he identify himself to me because he saw the light on top of my head brothers and sisters apart from the holy spirit glowing all over you but there's a physical there's something physical on top of our heads honestly brothers and sisters and it is beautiful we are the light of the world we have nothing to fear all we need to do is to represent Jesus Christ of Nazareth in the biblical way. Walk in his light, in his status. Be holy, be righteous. Love the Lord with all your heart. Don't mix with the world. Don't do everything that the world is doing because the world is wicked. You are the light. What a blessing, what a grace. What a grace to have the light of Yah inside of you. The light on top of your head. Your heads rather. So it's a powerful, beautiful vision. Um, and I just wanted to encourage the body of Christ, you know, just, just be happy in the Lord and love the Lord with all your heart and all your soul because he, he is our uh, refuge. Okay, so be bold, be strong, be courageous. Walk with you, just like Enoch. All praises, all beautiful praises to Mosiah, yeah, who lives above the heavens. Yeah, eternally bless you. I love you all and I will see you soon. Someday in glory, in Jesus Christ's precious holy name. Amen and amen, amen. Uh, grab your Bibles, brothers and sisters. We're going to read from Jude chapter 1. I'll give you a few seconds. I'll give you a few seconds. Okay. All right. Right. So read with us Jude chapter 1. This is our benediction, all right? Uh, Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25. And the Bible reads, read, read with me, brothers and sisters, or if you know it out of your heads, you can say it with me. All right. So Jude chapter 1, verse 24. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before his presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, <laughs> hallelujah, both now and forevermore. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.